Welcome back. In this video, I'll be looking at 11.5 integration by substitution part 2. 11.5 represents chapter 11, section 5 of the Pearson A level maths, pure maths year 2 textbook. A quick recap selecting your substitution. Well, your substitution depends on the integral that you're working out. There are three different possibilities. Number one, your substitution can be whatever you have inside the bracket to the power n. Number two, your substitution can be the denominator of the fraction. And number three, your substitution can be the power of e. Now, when finding the value of a definite integral using the method of substitution, don't forget to change your limits. So over here, we have an indefinite integral because the integral has no limits. And over here, we have a definite integral because the integral has limits. Here's an exam style question. It's looking somewhat crispy. I'm going to go through how to tackle this crispy problem. It says, use the substitution u equal cos x to show that this definite integral is equal to 47 over 480. Right, so step number one. What we need to do is change the limits. So when x is equal zero, u is equal cos of zero, which is one. When x is equal pi over three, u is equal cos pi over 3, which is a half. Right, now, we've changed the limits. Our next step is to rewrite this whole integral in terms of u. We can break it down into parts. So, step number 1, I have the integral from 0 to pi over 3 of sine cubed x cos squared x dx. This is the same as the integral from 1 to a half of sine cubed x and the cos squared x can be replaced with u squared because u is equal cos x u squared dx now i've got a dx over here i need to get rid of that dx and put in a du so my next step is to differentiate u with respect to x so if i have u equal cos x du over dx is equal minus sine x. I need to make dx the subject. So if I make dx the subject, I get dx is equal du over minus sine x. Right, I'm going to put a little box around this. This particular integral now reduces to the integral from 1 to a half of sine cubed x u squared, the dx is the same as du over minus sine x. I see some cancellation over here. Sine cubed x divided by minus sine x is minus sine squared x. So this integral now reduces to the integral from 1 to a half of minus sine squared x u squared du. Okay. I know a beautiful identity, and that identity is sine squared x plus cos squared x is equal 1. We know that u is equal cos x, so I can substitute u equal cos x into this identity to get sine squared x plus u squared is equal 1. Now, the next step is to make sine squared x the subject, so if I do that, I get sine squared x is equal 1 minus u squared. I can put a little box around this. Okay, so I want to reduce this integral further. I can replace the sine squared x with 1 minus u squared to obtain the following integral. Integral from 1 to a half minus sine squared x is the same as 1 minus u squared, don't forget to put the brackets because the minus will affect everything inside the bracket. And then I've got u squared du. Now, I can expand this bracket to give me the integral from 1 to a half of minus u squared plus u to the power 4 du. As you can see, this is very easy to integrate. All you have to do is add 1 to the power and divide by the new power. After adding 1 to the power and dividing by the new power, I get something like this. And these are my limits. My next step is to substitute a half into this expression 
get a value minus substitute 1 into this expression, get a value. And then simplify that to obtain 47 over 480. So after substituting a half into this expression, I get minus 17 over 480. Minus, I substitute 1 into this expression, I get minus 2 over 15. So this over here simplifies to 47 over 480 as required. Here is another exam style question. This particular exam style question is looking more crispy than the previous exam style question. Why is this the case? Well, our substitution now is u squared instead of u. If we look at our substitution, u squared equal e to the power x minus 2, u is not the subject, x is not the subject, so what type of equation do we have? Well, it is an implicit equation. So in this particular question, when we use the method of substitution, some way in our working out we will be using implicit differentiation. Right, let's tackle this problem. Use the substitution u squared equal e to the power x minus 2 to show that this definite integral over here can be written in the form a over b plus c l and d where a, b, c and d are integers to be found. Okay, no problem, we can do this. First of all, you need to change the limits. So when x is equal ln 3, u squared is equal e to the power ln 3 minus 2. Right, the e and ln cancel to give us 3, then we have take away 2, which gives us 1. So u squared is equal 1. Now, when I take the square root, I need to include plus or minus. But then I say to myself, okay, which root do I take, the positive or the negative? Well, if I go back to the lower limit, ln 3, that is positive, so just take the positive root. So I get u equal square root of 1, which is 1. When x is equal ln 4, u squared is equal e to the power ln 4 minus 2. Now, the e and ln cancel to give me 4. Then we have minus 2, which is 2. So u squared is equal 2. Now, the limit over here, ln 4, is positive. Therefore, I need to take the positive root. So the positive root will be u equal square root of 2. Now that I've changed the limits, my next step is to rewrite this particular integral in terms of u. I'm going to do it step by step. Okay, so let's start off with the integral from ln3 to ln4 of e to the power 4x over e to the power x minus 2 dx. Well, this integral reduces to the integral from 1 to square root 2. The e to the power 4x, ladies and gents, can be rewritten as e to the power x in bracket to the power 4 laws of indices divided by e to the power x minus 2 dx. Now, I've got the substitution u squared equal e to the power x minus 2. I'm going to put a box around this. I can make e to the power x the subject, and if I do this, I get e to the power x is equal u squared plus 2. I'll put a box around this as well. Right, so this integral now reduces to the integral from 1 to square root 2 of, well, e to the power x is the same as u squared plus 2, in bracket to the power 4, over e to the power x minus 2 is the same as u squared dx. My next step is to get rid of the dx and put in a du. Okay, right, I've got u squared equal e to the power x minus 2. What I need to do now is differentiate each term with respect to x. So starting off with u squared. If I differentiate u squared with respect to x, I get 2u du over dx equal. Differentiating e to the power x with respect to x is e to the power x. And differentiating minus 2 with respect to x is 0. Right. Now, I need to make dx the subject. If I make dx the subject, I get dx is equal to u du over e to the power x. But e to the power x, ladies and gents, is u squared plus 2. Therefore, dx is equal to u du over u squared plus 2. I'm going to put a box around this because I'll be replacing the dx with this expression involving u. Now, this integral over here reduces to the integral from 1 to square root 2 
of u squared plus 2 in brackets to the power 4 over u squared multiplied by dx, where dx is 2u du over u squared plus 2. There's some cancellation now. This power 4 reduces to power 3, which cancels out this u squared plus 2. This power 2 over here reduces to power 1, which cancels out this u. So now this integral reduces to the integral from 1 to square root 2 of 2 in bracket u squared plus 2 to the power 3 over u du. What do I need to do now? Well, I need to expand the numerator and then once I've expanded the numerator, I need to divide all of the terms by u. After simplifying the expression that we had inside the integral, this particular integral now reduces to the integral from 1 to square root 2 of this expression du. Right, the first three terms we can integrate by adding 1 to the power and dividing by the new power. The last term is 16 over u. Now 16 over u is equivalent to writing 16 multiplied by 1 over u. We know that 1 over u integrates to ln mod u. Therefore, 16 over u integrates to 16 ln mod u. After integrating, I got this expression here. The next step was to substitute the limit square root 2 into this expression. Take away, substitute the limit 1 into this expression. After which I use rules of natural logs to obtain this form over here as required. Where a is equal 70, b is equal 3, c is equal 8 and d is equal to 2. Here is the final exam style question of this particular video. In this question, we are given the graph of y equal x cubed ln in brackets x squared plus 2. The area r is bounded by the curve, the x-axis and the line x equals square root 2. Use the substitution u equal x squared plus 2 to show that the area of r is a half integral from 2 to 4 u minus 2 in brackets ln u du. The first step is to notice that the area r is given by the integral from 0 to square root 2 of y which is x cubed ln in brackets x squared plus 2 dx. Our next step is to reduce this integral so that it is in terms of u and in particular we want this form over here. So what do we do first? Well we have to change the limits. So when x is equal 0 u is equal 0 squared plus 2, hence u is equal 2. When x is equal square root 2, u is equal square root 2 squared plus 2, hence u is equal 4. Therefore, the area r is given by the integral from 2 to 4 of, well, x cubed ln x squared plus 2 is u dx. What we need to do now is get rid of the dx, hence we need to differentiate u with respect to x. du over dx is equal to 2x. Making dx a subject gives us du over 2x is equal dx. So this integral now reduces to the integral from 2 to 4 of x cubed ln u multiplied by dx, which is du over 2x. We have a cancellation now. This power 3 becomes power 2, and this x cancels. So we now have the integral from 2 to 4, a half x squared ln u du. But x squared is just u minus 2, if I make x squared the subject over here, giving me the integral from 2 to 4, a half u minus 2 in brackets, ln u du. The constant a half can be taken outside the integral. That was one of the rules for integration. So this integral can now be written as a half integral from 2 to 4, u minus 2 in brackets, ln u du as required. If you found this video useful, please don't forget to subscribe.